Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. On Monday, a mass shooting at a supermarket in Boulder, Colorado in the United States left 10 people dead, including the first police officer to arrive on the scene. According to the city authorities, the suspect, who was injured during the attack, was arrested. Police gave few immediate details of the shooting, a not known motive for the violence, which unfolded at about 3 p.m. at a King Super's grocery store in Boulder, a city located about 45 kilometers or 28 miles northwest of Denver. The first thing I want to say is I want to say our hearts of this community go out to the victims of this horrific incident. We know of uh, 10 fatalities uh, at the scene, including one of our Boulder PD officers by the name of Eric Talley. The bloodshed marked the second daily U.S. mass shooting in a week following gun violence last Tuesday that left eight people dead, including six Asian women, at three locations in and around Atlanta. A 21-year-old man has been charged with those killings. We will be here working night and day. We have one suspect in custody. I want to reassure the community that they are safe and that we will try to do our best over the next few hours to identify the victims. And we'll be working with the coroner's office to do that as promptly as possible. According to Boulder Police Chief Maris Herald, 10 people perished in the attack at King Super's grocery. I also want to stress how incredibly sorry I am for all the victims who were killed at King Super's. These were people who were going about their day, doing their food shopping, and their lives were cut abruptly and tragically short by the shooter, who is now in custody. I promise the victims and the people of the state of Colorado that we will secure justice and do everything we must do to get justice in this case. Police said the suspected gunman who was arrested was believed to be the only individual with serious injuries who survived the bloodshed. Video footage from the scene broadcast earlier by television station showed a shirtless, bearded man in boxer shorts being led away from the store in handcuffs before he was placed on a stretcher and loaded into an ambulance. The man in custody appeared to have a bloody leg and was limping as he walked. As I mentioned, the shooter is currently in custody. He was injured. With an eye towards the prosecution of that case, we're going to be very careful about the crime scene and how we go about this investigation. We owe it to the families of all the victims, each and every one of them, to ensure that justice is done. And I promise you that is our commitment, and we will work tirelessly to get there. Officer Eric Talley was 51 years old and had been with the Boulder Police Department since 2010. Rescue staff on boats helped maroon people and their pets back onto dry land on Tuesday as Australian authorities issued fresh flood warnings and evacuation orders after torrential rains again pummeled several parts of the country, sweeping away homes, roads and livestock in the worst downpour in more than half a century. Unfortunately, some weather conditions have worsened and those uh, weather conditions are likely to worsen during the day. So many communities will experience increasing heavy rainfall. And as we advised yesterday, about 18,000 people have been evacuated. And regrettably, we have warnings now for an additional 15,000 people that may need to be evacuated. No deaths were reported, but thousands of people have been rescued by emergency services in recent days. About 18,000 people have been evacuated with authorities expecting about 15,000 others to join them. The water came up and then a road got... Uh, the road that we came up had a landslide, so we couldn't go back that way. Houses in Sackville North, a suburb 80 kilometers or 50 miles northwest of Sydney, were left partially submerged by the swollen Hawkesbury River. There was a flooding last year, but not this bad. So we've got a place on the other side of the river and we just came over to move our van up to higher ground and um, we're trapped on the other side of the river um, with the landslides. So we've been there for a couple of days. Whilst weather conditions may ease up tomorrow, the strong warning we need to give people is please continue to be patient because we envisage that even when the rain stops in some of these coastal communities, the rivers will keep rising. The National Weather Agency has posted severe weather warnings in every mainland state or territory, but one affecting around 10 million people in the country of 25 million across an area the size of Alaska. According to the head of the World Health Organization, more producers of COVID-19 vaccines should follow the example of AstraZeneca and license their technology to other manufacturers. 
The World Health Organization director, director General described current levels of vaccine inequity as grotesque. The WHO Director General noted the drug maker's interim data from trials found a vaccine, developed in conjunction with Oxford University, was 78 percent effective in preventing symptomatic COVID-19 and, crucially, posed no increased risk of blood clots. We need more vaccine producers to follow this example and license their technology to other companies. Today, AstraZeneca announced positive results from a trial of the vaccine among more than 32,000 people in Chile, Peru, and the United States. The vaccine was 79% effective in preventing symptomatic COVID-19 and 100% effective in preventing hospitalization and death. No safety concerns were reported. These data are further evidence that the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and effective. The data showed the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine was safe and effective, Tetris told a news conference. In January, I said that the world was on the brink of a catastrophic moral failure unless urgent steps were taken to ensure equitable distribution of vaccines. We have the means to avert this failure, but it's shocking how little has been done to avert it. The gap between the number of vaccines administered in rich countries and the number of vaccines administered through COVAX is growing every single day and becoming more grotesque every day. WHO officials said there was no sign of falling demand for the AstraZeneca shot through its COVAX vaccine sharing program after some countries temporarily paused its use over health concerns. So far, AstraZeneca is the only company that has committed to not profiting from its COVID-19 vaccine during that, the pandemic. And so far, it's the only vaccine developer that has made a significant contribution to vaccine equity by licensing its technology to several other companies, including SK Bio in the Republic of Korea and the Serum Institute of India, which are producing more than 90 percent of the vaccines that have so far been distributed through COVAX. The WHO senior advisor said COVAX was having some problems since manufacturers might not be able to keep up with the rollout program. We've already distributed over 30 million doses to 50 uh, countries on multiple continents, but the goal is to get to over 140 countries in the near term, um, and indeed we have 190 countries that are part of the facility in total. Um, there is no question, Shoko, that the facility can deliver that over 300 million doses, as you mentioned, and even more in the near term. The Geneva-based body urged vigilance as case numbers rose in several regions, including Europe, driven partly by virus variants that transmit more easily. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.